We both love hard problems. We love to search for new ideas. And we especially love finding those ideas, the really big ones, the ones that can change the world. There will be days where you will ask yourself, where is all this going? What is the purpose? What is my purpose? How can I serve humanity? This is life's biggest and most important question. When you work towards something greater than yourself, you find meaning, you find purpose, but technology alone isn't the solution. And sometimes it's even part of the problem. Never has humanity had such power over itself Yet nothing ensures that it will be used wisely. Technology today is integral to almost all aspects of our lives. And most of the time, it's a force for good. And yet the potential adverse consequences are spreading faster and cutting deeper than ever before. Threats to our security, threats to our privacy, fake news, and social media that becomes antisocial. Sometimes the very technology that is meant to connect us divides us. Technology is capable of doing great things, but it doesn't want to do great things. It doesn't want anything. That part takes all of us. It takes our values and our commitment to our families and our neighbors and our communities, our love of beauty and belief that all of our fates are interconnected, our decency, our kindness. I'm not worried about artificial intelligence giving computers the ability to think like humans. I'm more concerned about people thinking like computers, without values or compassion, without concern for consequences. As Steve once said, technology alone is not enough. It is technology married with the liberal arts, married with the humanities that make our hearts sing. When you keep people at the center of what you do, it can have an enormous impact. It means technology infused with your values, making progress possible for everyone. Whatever you do in your life, and we must infuse it with the humanity that each of us is born with. That responsibility is immense. But so is the opportunity. The internet has enabled so much and empowered so many, but it can also be a place where basic rules of decency are suspended and pettiness and negativity thrive. Don't let that noise knock you off course. Don't get caught up in the trivial aspects of life. Don't listen to trolls, and for God's sake, don't become one. Measure your impact on humanity, not in likes, but in the lives you touch. Not in popularity, but in the people you serve. Stay focused on what really matters. There will be times when your resolve to serve humanity will be tested. Be prepared. People will try to convince you that you should keep your empathy out of your career. Don't accept this false premise. We do these things because they're the right thing to do. And protecting the environment is a critical example. When you're convinced that your cause is right. Have the courage to take a stand. If you see a problem or an injustice, recognize that no one will fix it but you. 
Use your minds and hands and your hearts to build something bigger than yourselves. Always remember, there is no idea bigger than this. As Dr. Martin Luther King said, all life is interrelated. We are all bound together into a single garment of destiny. If you keep that idea at the forefront of all that you do, if you choose to live your lives at that intersection between technology and the people it serves, if you strive to create the best, give the best, do the best for everyone, not just for some, then today, all of humanity has good cause for hope.